Welcome back to Farm and Hammer, everyone. Uh, today is a beautiful day. Um, last couple days, it's been like 60 some degrees and been really warm and sunny. And so, grass is all starting to grow, everything's greening up, and it's starting to feel like spring, and it's only the first week of March. You can probably hear all the calves bawling, but uh, it's basically time for their breakfast. I have quite a few more calves to show you. I picked up quite a few. But before I show you guys the calves, uh, I did want to kind of give you an update. Um, if you guys remember a couple, yeah, probably a couple months ago now, um, I said I'd be getting some pigs, and we're going to try that this year. And uh, never had pigs before, never raised any, never hardly been around them. But I'm going to be trying to get some here in the next couple weeks, as a lot of people start farrowing uh, this time of year around in my area. So anyway, got to get stuff ready for them. So when I was trying to find a place to put them, at least when we first get them, obviously they're going to be out on pasture. When we first get them, when they're little, I do want to have them in the barn or something just till we can get them trained. And so, uh, so here is the barn. Uh, this is a relatively new property to us and so uh, the guy the previous owner had a sawmill and so he had a bunch of scrap lumber in this whole thing and let cows in there and now it's all just covered in poop and all that so it's a lot of cleanup work so you can see there's trash everywhere a lot of this property is covered in trash um, a lot of metal a lot of wood and a lot of plastic uh, and I can give you guys an actual full tour on this barn if you'd like. Um, I love these old barns. Neat. Pretty neat to me. Um, but we did decide on putting the pigs in this little area here under the stairs. Um, just because part of it's concrete. Uh, I'm going to get in here real quick and show you. So, coming in here. Uh, there we go. Um, so you can see three quarters of it is concrete. The other... From here over is all dirt, uh, but from here up is is all concreted. Uh, that's kind of why we chose this. Also, there's less cleanup in this part of the barn than there is in the other sides. So, um, as you can see, this was obviously where they used to feed, I'm assuming, cows. And uh, that's why I love these old barns. A lot of history and a lot of stuff went on. But uh, anyway, Whatever they fed in here were those cows or horses. Uh, it was only half concreted, and then there's an old office there. Um, but anyway, since it's all concreted, I thought, hey, pretty good place to put some pigs, at least to get them started. And uh, anyway, so I've been doing a lot of cleanup work in here. Me and my brother have been working on it and uh, trying to salvage some of this lumber. And there's also a lot of trash. There's a squirrel nest there. Um, scared him out and picked up some of the wood, but. A lot of trash, a lot of cleanup. Um, I'm gonna have try to have this cleaned up uh, really clean within the next week because I'm hoping to get some pigs in at least two weeks. So anyway, just thought I'd give you an update on the pig situation. Like I said, if you guys want to see a full tour of this barn, I'd be happy to do so. Just leave that comment down below. Um, let me know you want to see it, and if there's a lot of interest, I will give you guys a tour. So before I show you all the new ones, I wanted to give you guys kind of an update on all the older calves. Um, They've already been fed this morning, and she's happy as you can tell. Um, like I said, we've had some pretty nice weather the last week or so, so all the calves have been really happy enjoying the nice weather. Um, it's not too hot for them either, so perfect temperature. And these older three, they're getting close to being weaned. Um, I'd say within a week, they'll be there. They're eating a full bucket of grain now. I just refilled their buckets this morning. Uh, they're probably, they probably had them for five minutes or so. Um, but they are eating a full bucket from their morning feeding all the way to their evening feeding. So they're getting close to being weaned and as you can tell she's eating straw. But I do need to find them some really good high quality hay. Um, I have been feeding them just some really good orchard fescue mix hay. Uh, it's not terrible quality, but it's not great. So they are eating it, it does get them started. And as soon as the grass starts growing, I'm gonna start giving them some actual green grass. But um, until then, I need to find them probably some alfalfa or brome or timothy or even some decent quality Bermuda. Uh, but for now, there's, they're just on fescue orchard grass mix hay and obviously they're eating a little straw too. So um, anyway, these I have switched over to the bucket. I feed them all grain at least once a day by hand. And then as soon as they quit spitting it out and they act like they actually want more, 
that's when I give them a little bucket. And so she's getting about a quarter of a bucket now. Um, and she is the oldest, so it kind of makes sense why she's the first to start eating it. But, uh, um, man, she's excited. Anyway, so the next three I also put on the bucket. It was just taking me way too long to bottle feed all of them. So they're on the bucket. And, and once again, these three are not on grain yet. They're still just getting fed grain by hand. And all of them are getting hay. They all tend to eat some hay. So uh, that brings me to these three, or these four. Uh, this guy actually had scours about a week ago. And uh, he went downhill pretty quick and brought him back to life. He had a few scour pills. And uh, once he had it, whatever kind of scours this was, it spread through all of them like wildfire. So within three days, from that side of the barn all the way to this side, they all had scours. I never had any of them that went down and wouldn't get up or drink, uh, but they all had it. And so all of these did get treated with a little bit of the scour bolses. And so not ideal, I don't know what it was, but it went through them quick and Man, it's spread quick. So, um, anyway, and then these two, they're also getting fed on the bucket, but they pooped in their bucket right after I fed them, so their buckets are now gone. Um, anyway, so that brings me to the next three, which one of them you haven't seen yet. I know you guys have seen these two Angus Holstein crosses here, um, and I think I'm gonna get a few more from the lady that sold me these. I'm pretty happy with them, and they're growing. He's Big dude and she's a big heifer. So uh, they're growing well. Uh, they have scours when I first got them, but they came through it well. And then this brings me to some of the new ones. Uh, this one is from, he's one of the Gelby Holstein crosses again uh, from the same farm. And little bull, he's out of a heifer. So uh, he's pretty new, uh, not as new as these, but I'm soon gonna move him over to this pen and get all 10 of these on the bottle. As you can see, the new group is all in the milk bar. Uh, they're still figuring it out. They're not great at it yet, but they're definitely learning. And uh, anyway, I'm gonna let, th let these guys finish up drinking, and then I'll come back and show you guys more as soon as they're bedded down and less hungry. So, gotta open my little cheap gate here. So that brings me to these nine, and uh, all the ones with a white face, those are gonna be your Fleck v. Simmental Dairy Crosses. And I had some of these last year, if you guys remember, the two red ones, um, and I also had two black white face heifers, um, or one black white face heifer and one black white face steer. Um, but all the white faces you see, that one, that one, this one, and that one there, those are all out of the Fleck v. Bull and Dairy Cross calves or cows, so um, they're all pretty big. I'm pretty happy with them. Uh, sorry, the cat's digging a hole and the calf thinks it's interesting. And now we spike. I know you guys like seeing the kittens, so. What are you doing? 
Anyway, so there's a the kitten. Now the black ones here, they're out of the same herd, but they are out of a different bolt. So these black ones are out of a hef out of heifers, and the bull they were out of is a uh, black baldy bull. So beef bull once again, but these are out of a heifer bull, so that's why they're so small. And that one there is also out of them, as well as this heifer. So the, the four black ones with the white face, that one too, uh, those are all those are all heifers, and then the rest are bulls. Uh, I'm definitely going to keep these as heifers because you can tell they got quite a bit of jersey in them. And so, uh, so they're going to be smaller. I'd say they'll do pretty well for me. So as beef cows. So anyway, that brings me to all the bulls. Uh, this guy, when I first got him, he was pretty young, um, but once again, got him hooked on the bottle and now on the milk bar, I guess. And he's doing well. Uh, these two, a little more rambunctious. These came straight off the cow. His bull calves, he leaves on the cow till the next person wants to buy them and pick them up. So uh, they did have to be trained to the bottle, but it wasn't too bad. And this heifer is enjoying life. Um, and then this one here, he's the youngest, and uh, he's got a little scours right now. Uh, he had a few when I picked him up, but I think he's pulling through. You see his tail's a little wet. That brings me to this one. He's a rare one. Haven't had one like this yet. Um, he's also out of the Flexi Bull. Um, but he is uh, hes out of a red A-Shire cow, I believe. Something like that. Uh, he looks like a red Angus calf, honestly. I know he's going to have some horns, but I will take care of those. Anyway, I really like this guy. I can actually probably mix him in with my black calves when I sell them, and he'll match with them. Um, so, anyway, pretty happy with him, and actually I'm happy with all of them. I'd like to get at least 10, a group of 10 of the Simmental crosses, all the white faces there, um, just so I can, you know, you get docked if you sell less than 10 at the sale barn, so. I'm shooting for at least 10, I think he said he has like 60 more to calf, so I'd be able to get 30 some more bulls from him. And this guy's really stocky, he just has his belly full, that's why he's sleeping, but. Big cap there. What are you doing? What are you doing? 